is like take 40 for my vlogs so anyways i am doing partially by rita duff in this poem it takes place in the dominican republic in which 20,000 black people were executed by a crazed dictator well jumping into the poem in the first stanza we have a parrot imitating spring in a palace which shows that we are in a place of great wealth and that the parrot's feathers are partially green which, and when you think of spring, you think of the color green, which is fresh and renewal, such as life. But jumping into the third line, we have out of the swamp, the cane appears, which shows us the underclass, the unwealthy side, the dirtier people in contrast to the wealthiness. And going on into the second stanza, we have the L, L general, which is the general, as he's searching for a word. And it says he is all the world there is, which shows that he is all the power for these people that are working in the swamp with the sugar cane. And the last line again, we have like a parrot imitating spring, which is pronounced over and over again in the story, trying to symbolize the parrot's renewal by constantly bringing him back in again and again. Moving forward into the third stanza, we finally have the people the lower classmen in which we are seeing the perspective of and they are all screaming as the rain punches through and they come up green so i feel like this is saying that as they're being beaten down eventually even though everything is bad now they will rise up again and everything will hopefully be well again like death is not an end to them because life will pass on and they'll just grow up to be green trees and just be with the earth and so on after this it says that they cannot speak in r which we know will be parsley or uh, or paragel which means parsley in spanish in which the general figures out in stanza five which is the word that he wishes for them to try to pronounce the r sound in or else he will kill them it seems to be the reason he is doing this is because of his mother which kind of weird to kill people just because he wishes for his mother to still be there. Maybe he still holds deep feelings on the fact that she died early. And he's not happy that all these other people are going about their lives, which he sees as lower than him because he has all this wealth and this high standing compared to them. So why should he have to suffer and his mother have to be the one to die and not them? Later on, it, the general says that his mother was not a stupid woman, that she could rule an R like a queen, and that even a parrot can rule an R. I feel like he's trying to place these people as less than even a pet, in which a parrot would be, to maybe try and help himself feel better, in which killing all of them, which he is inevitably going to do, to try and cause himself some salvation from it, as compared to just slaughtering them nonsensically. And in the same stanza in this, we have it saying that as the last pale comes to disappear from the blackened tongue of the parrot. This is the first sighting in the parrot in which we don't have like this bright green, like lively color, which I feel symbolizes the impending doom coming here soon, in which the death of the people is inevitable, because now they are less than pets, and he is being seen as a darker color, showing symbolizing death and sure enough in the last stanza it has the general he's remembering tiny green sprigs from men of his built village they wore in their capes to honor the birth of a son and after that he says he will order many this time to be killed for a single beautiful word which the word is parsley which shows that he is finally going to kill all these people simply for not being able to pronounce the word r which is crazy, which this whole poem is just all about death, and it's just a very dark, dark poem. Well, anyway, that is all.